Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of properties of operations. This is standard 6.7D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 52 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have some properties that we are going to be paying attention to. And the property that we are probably most going to be using today is the distributive property. So, so the distributive property of operations sometimes is called a breaking apart. So it's helpful when you are multiplying multiple uh, terms and how you can break that apart or group that together. Now sometimes we also have the associative property and that just tells you how we group numbers uh, whether they're addition or whether they are multiplication you can group them in any order as long as you're not changing up the operation and your answer will still be the same and then finally we also have the commutative order and the commutative property is the order property commutative and we are going to be looking at that if we see it just to say that we can put numbers in any order. 5 times 6 is the same as 6 times 5. So these are the three big properties. There's a few others, but these are the ones we're really going to look at. So we're going to look at expressions that are equivalent. Only one set out of these four are going to be equivalent, and then we'll see if we can figure it out and name the property. So we have an x in each of these. So you notice this x in each of these. So the easiest thing to do is to make x a value you don't want to make it 0, you don't want to make it 1. Sometimes that can give you a false positive because those numbers are too easy. So let's say x equals 5. All right, so let's just make x equal 5, and let's just simplify these. So look at this first one right here. So we've got 9, and we've got 6 plus, and I'll put the 5 there instead of the x. So we've got 9... And then that 6 plus 5 is 11, so really that makes 99. So that's that first one. Then let's look at this, this second one right here. So we've got 9 times 6 plus 9 times 5. Let's put that 5 in there for the x. So 9 times 6, that is going to be 54. 9 times 5 is going to be 45, and add those two up, and guess what you get? 99. So this is definitely the distributive property. And the reason we know it's the distributive property is you have this 9 multiplied by the 6 plus x. And the 6 plus x is within the parentheses, so you could distribute it or you can break it apart. So you multiply the 9 times the x and then 9 times the 6 separately and then still add them together. So that looks like it works. Let's just double check to make sure the other ones don't work. So we've got this G right here. So we've got 5 plus, and then I've got 8 times 9. So that's 5 plus 72. So that makes 77. Now we put, uh, so they tried to use the grouping, the associative property, but you ch ended up changing it from a multiplication to an addition. That's not going to work. So 5 plus 8 times 9. That's going to be 13 times 9, and that's going to be, what, 117, I believe. So that is not correct. Let's look at this H right here. We've got 8 times 6 divided by 5, so we're going left to right. So that's going to be 48 divided by 5. That's not even going to go in evenly. Let's just call that 48 fifths. We could just, when in doubt, just make it a fraction. Now we've got 8 times 5 divided by 6, so they tried to do the commutative property. They did the order, but you notice we changed the operation from a multiplication to a division. That's not going to work. So this is 40 divided by 6. Also doesn't go in evenly, and that's not going to work. And then let's look at this last one real quick. So that's going to be 30 plus 3. That's 33. And that is going to be 6 plus, that's 8. 6 times 8, that's 48. So that is incorrect. Answer is F. 